Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Su Lai Hello everybody, this is Su Lai and I would like to invite you to join us in our upcoming webinar which is Opening Multidimensional Portals. You may ask, what is a portal? What is a multidimensional portal? How do we open a portal? For the question of, what is a portal? I'm going to call Monica in to help with this as she has actually been to portals. Monica would you like to talk a little bit about what a portal is to you since you've had more of a direct experience with them in your journeys to faraway places. Monica hello sure, a portal is a field of expanded energy. We can find this energy everywhere, we find portals everywhere. When we activate our own individual portals to the light, then we are more able to perceive more of Gaia's portals. Sue yes, would you say that opening our personal portals is something that should precede opening the others, or does opening the other portals help us to open our own portals? Monica, both ways, it is like opening a curtain, and once we open the curtain we are able to perceive and see more. Sue yes, and the more we see, the more we are able to see. It's almost like if we step into a room that has a different kind of light in it. It takes our eyes a while to acclimate to that light so that we can see the light, inner or outer light, more clearly. Then after our eyes, and our consciousness, get used to that level of light, we can see it more clearly. It is the same within the inner light of our deep, inner consciousness. Once our consciousness is able to accept certain frequencies, there are all kinds of information that can enter into our waking consciousness. At first, before we adjust to the own inner light, we may think that can't be real. Then we may choose not to put our attention onto the light. However, there are many opening portals that are calling us to say, Yes, I want to open a portal. I want to see a portal. I want to be able to perceive something outside of me, or maybe even inside of me that is a portal to a higher frequency of me, if it inside of me, or around me if it's around the reality around me. So would you ladies like to expand on that a little bit? Kim do you want to add to that? Kim yes, I think that when we speak of portals it's a new multidimensional language, it's probably a connection point that starts within ourselves and yes you can also find alignment in portal activation with the earth and in different places of the earth and what that does is I feel it's your direct line of communication to the interdimensional realities and first like you said it's a matter of accepting it, recognizing it calling it in and giving it permission. Giving it permission to show itself to one and once that is approved so to speak because we are a free will planet and consciousness collective then we can really start beginning to interchange the dialogue. And that dialogue would not necessarily be within a linear confine of communication. It's more visuals, it's more perceptivity of what it is that these beings or interdimensional energies are trying to convey or have you understand. So it really does start with oneself but of course, it can get activated or expanded even more fully by being in certain places at certain times. But you certainly don't need to do that in order to have that connection opening and starting within yourselves. So it's quite exciting because it's a new way of communicating. Sue yes, and it's a way of communicating with your consciousness. We always communicate with our consciousness but we don't usually do so consciously. Maybe we are in a grocery store and we are like oh hurry up. We have that kind of consciousness or we have a wonderful concert and we have this really high consciousness. And so it's about being aware of our state of consciousness because our state of consciousness is what allows us to perceive that which is unperceivable to the lower states of consciousness. And also when we perceive with our higher states of consciousness we don't see it like we see it with our physical eyes. We perceive it in our mind. We feel it in our heart. Monica how did you perceive some of the things that you perceived when you were in Egypt and all those places those high spots? Monica actually I would like to present the very application of opening multidimensional portals, because on one side we can tune into other dimensions and the beautiful structures being realities and on another by doing so we can activate our earthly portals of love, we can activate our portal of joy, we can activate our portal of peace. 
And what does it feel like? For example, when I was in Egypt it was like entering under the waterfall, it is like entering into a tornado but a very balancing coherent tornado. So it is expanding our energy field and therefore we are able to feel and perceive more and that is a feeling of feeling very, very good because then we carry in our field an enormous resource of peace or love or joy. So it's like we can have a little bit of joy a sea of joy in us so we can have a belt of joy, we can have a barrel of joy or we can have a balloon a big, big balloon of joy. Sue and I would think that joy would be an important part, an important component of opening up a portal. And you have the experience of being in places like in Egypt, ancient places that are known portals. But there's also just our everyday portals. And Kim would you like to talk a little bit about the everyday portals? Kim, sure it can be as simple as going for a walk and having a connection amongst the trees or with nature and I think that is actually a more inducing environment for activating a lot of this as being in the outdoor space. And not that you can't do it when you are indoors. I just think it's casting a wider net of frequencies that you are inviting in and you are able to catch them in your etheric field a lot easier. It's quite important at this time to be able to this on demand. For several reasons as a collective of humanity we are ascending and we are trying to really integrate our multidimensional selves with the 3D earthly plane for reasons of bringing in our divine essence and feeling joy most of the time and sort of leaving those lower energy fields go because they're not conducive anymore for an ascended reality. So we need to be able to feel comfortable in opening the portal and confident in our ability to do so so that we can accept all the change that is happening in a very open-minded way essentially. So we can help any assisting the planet in getting fully conscious from all pockets of the earth in all cultures and countries this really is a collective awakening. So feeling confident being able to traverse the change that's happening, being able to connect with nature to give that permission so to speak for the consciousness to be fully aware and to receive other energies and ultimate expansion and joy is the goal I think for each individual and in terms of their own personal lives, using these new abilities to make better decisions to have better perceptions to be able to see things more clearly and to be able to lead others into doing so as well. Sue I like that term you said. Traverse the change. Monica, can you speak to that a little bit? Monica, I loved what you brought Kim about activating portals because that's an ability which we can train ourselves into. This is what happened to me, I was already activating portals without probably not knowing about it. Even long before I started meditating, and it is a very practical, very useful tool for our everyday living, which surely can bring us more energy, more nourishment, more empowerment. And DR Sue has wonderful, absolutely wonderful ways of activating these portals and introducing like the most loving guide taking you by the hand and guiding you on this journey of recognizing, activating and growing your portals. Therefore, we want to invite you to the webinar. Sue, yes would so say those three things again, that's really important. Activating, resonating too. Do you remember them Monica, how about you Kim? Do you remember those three things that she said? Kim yes, I think it was along the lines of understanding how to work with them, how to be aware of them, how to resonate with the portals. The how-tos and then the sustainability plan, for keeping them open cause I think that's the goal to know that we can coexist with these new abilities and finding the confidence and the comfort to be able to do so. And I think our webinar can certainly dive deeper into that. Monica yes, I got it, as we are talking we are in the multidimensional portal and the information comes through me so I need a moment to reach into my awareness where it landed like a package. So it's recognizing, activating and growing the portal and when we do this our entire lives shift. We have a different capacity to manifest things in our life, our dreams, our capacity to bring good things into our life changes, our consciousness expands. We feel more love more balanced more creativity, blissfully infinite. Sue so yes, and then we can get in a more personal and intimate connection with our higher dimensional guides and we all have higher frequencies of ourselves. When we find these portals and we open these portals, they open up to many mysteries but they also open up to our own ability to perceive these wonderful mysteries and to acknowledge them and to interact with them during our daily life. 
so we're never really alone, there is always assistance for us. And you can think of the portal as being up in the sky or down on the ground or in the middle of the lake or in the depths of the desert. It's more that, one can recognize that portal, recognize that it's there. It's like if you go into a room and you're looking for a certain person you'll be able to find that person. But if you go into the room and you don't really look for anybody, you'll just be where all these people are but you won't feel like you are having a choice that you are choosing to make. And that's what this opening of the portals is, we have this choice and we can choose this choice. We can decide to expand our consciousness beyond the physical plane. And when we do expand our consciousness beyond the physical plane we don't perceive it in the same manner as we do in the physical plane. So Monica would you like to comment and Kim would you like to as well? Monica yes, this a way to enrich ourself, enrich our consciousness from within. So we activate, we channel into our self-enriching nourishing energy and this energy grows our consciousness, it grows us it evolves us as beings and then our creations change our life potential shifts. Sue yes, thank you that's great. Kim, do you want to add to that? Kim yes, I think that's the angle if there is an angle because we are ever expanding ever growing beings of consciousness. But I think that's a big one for us in this lifetime is to come to that realization that we can influence and change the course of our lives free willingly and with guidance but with also open acceptance of this intelligence that's available to us at any point in time so that we're not making decisions out of alignment which is ultimately what we are moving away from. So I think it is important to share that message collectively and empower. Empower our communities to be able to follow this new trajectory of guidance at our disposal at any point in time. So very excited to have this conversation with you guys. Sue what makes us excited is that we are doing what we do for Gaia. In closing, I would like to say that the energies that we give to others are much more powerful than energies that we just hold inside of ourselves. It is like when we give, something opens up which allows us to accept more through an interdimensional door we have opened inside of ourself. Therefore, we can more easily and lovingly accept from others. Also, as we realize that which is complete, it allows us to bring in that which is new and ready to start its ORR expansion. As we keep these doors, these portals, open to the wonderful energy fields that are expanding and growing, we dispense this energy out to others. Also, we can then pull more of that higher energy into ourselves, which makes us all more awake, aware, and unified with all of Gaia's life forms. Blessings from Sue, Kim, and Monica The goals and benefits for opening your personal portal are to Open your awareness to new and greater life possibilities Increase your consciousness communications with your higher self Activate your personal portal of joy for more vibrant living Enjoy your conscious communication with your higher dimensional realities Expand your consciousness and vibration with the expansion of your consciousness You will be better able to increase your personal Vibration of balance, joy and love as you reach out and accept greater peace, creativity, inner growth, and a better understanding of how to embrace your higher dimensional skills and greater peace within yourself. I am called out of town and will be unable to offer this webinar please stay tuned as I will offer it again thank you for your understanding.